Hey everyone, it's Ryan Leonard with Wolf Nest Property Management and today we're going to be talking about uh, landlord rescues. Uh, what is it and how does it work? Now, real estate investing obviously can be a very lucrative uh, business or revenue stream for those investors or uh, property owners. Uh, however, what we have seen in the last two years is that there are some unforeseen risks that can occur. Now, obviously, with uh, COVID-19 or the pandemic, there's a lot of different things that owners and property management companies needed to navigate, like CDC moratoriums or a hold on all eviction cases. Um, a lot of employees lost their jobs or tenants lost their jobs um, or were furloughed or saw a reduction in pay. So, um, again, what is a landlord rescue? Uh, we can kind of take a look in a little bit more detail here um, on the next slide. So, again, what is... Landlord rescue. Honestly, there's no, uh, I guess, phrase to summarize it uh, cleanly because we deal with a lot of landlord rescues. It can be a um, uh, an investor that does uh, manage the property themselves, and they have just found themselves overwhelmed with past due rent or damage of the property, nuisance issues, um, evictions that they couldn't uh, move forward with because of those moratoriums. But we also see landlord rescue cases where um, a, another management company has mismanaged that property and the owner is just finding out about it and they need help to bring it back to um, how it should be operating. So some of the things that we typically do with landlord rescues, one of the biggest ones is obviously catch up on past due rent. Now, again, with that moratorium, there was a lot of misunderstanding or misinformation being relayed to tenants as far as a, uh, a rent forbearance, thinking that, oh, I don't have to pay this rent anymore. Well, no, you do, but you need to, you know, pay it at a later date. That doesn't mean that you don't, you're not responsible to pay for that rent. It means that it's going to be um, uh, due you know, down the road. So explaining that to tenants is something that we do a lot when we're bringing over, again, landlord uh, rescue type properties. Um, also, there was a lot of, or there were programs um, like the Utah Community Action Plan, which was actually government assistance with certain tenants that um, were uh, eligible for those rent assistance programs. So a lot of the properties that we saw come over yeah, they hadn't paid rent in a while, but they were eligible for this program. We got them enrolled in that and got the owner um, paid, but also the tenant caught up on past due rent so that it really wasn't um, hurting their credit or their rentability down the road. Another one that we see a lot of times is code violations. So the last thing that you want to be known for is a, in, as a landlord or a property owner is that slumlord, right? Um, now, we do run into properties that um, have just been mismanaged. There's been, you know, uh, preventative maintenance that has not been done, uh, issues that have just festered and gotten worse over time. So a lot of times when we come in as the property manager, um, we're actually getting this property back up to code. It's going to abide by Utah Fit Premises Act. It's going to be, you know, safe and habitable and clean, um, which is a great thing for our investors. Yes, it's a little bit of an expense. But one, um, that is a operating expense or something that can be qualified as a deduction come tax time uh, on top of uh, higher rents, um, tenants that are going to take care of the property, take pride in the property, um, and it is worth the money every single time. Also, you don't want to have any liens or um, any fines on that property or even have it foreclosed. So again, getting it up to code is something that we do assist with. Next one is conducting home inspections. Um, we see this a lot with out-of-state landlords um, or do-it-yourself do landlords that um, live out of state and just haven't inspected the property. You know, they've had three or four tenants um, in the last couple of years and they've never inspected the property in between those because again, they live out of state. Um, so a lot of times, when we're uh, bringing on a landlord type rescue property, um, we like to actually go and do a mid-lease inspection, document, videotape, come up with a list of things that we need to correct while the tenant's living there. Um, or if the tenant um, is being you know, evicted or if the property is vacant, the last thing you want to have happen is you know, squatters move in and then having to deal with that. So um, inspecting, uh, home inspections is a, a big piece of that landlord rescue. Um, whether the property is occupied or uh, vacant, we can help with both. 
So at the end of the day, Landlord Rescue is all about getting your property back on track, right? You want this to be um, a viable business for you and you need to treat your investment properties like a business. So having to invest a little bit here and there um, to get the property back on track and have a consistent uh, revenue stream is really your goal and also our goal uh, when you sign up as a new client. So if you have any questions about this or if you have a property that you think um, is ready for a landlord rescue. Uh, there's our website. There's my phone number. Give me a call. Happy to discuss our services and see if they could be a good fit. Thank you.